What's going on guys? I am incredibly excited about this cigar review. This is one of my all-time favorite budget sticks. It is the Iron Horse Maduro. About five or six months ago, I was shopping around online and I was trying to find different cigars that I haven't tried yet and I was looking for some budget smokes to add into my humidor as well. I found this cigar that's exclusive to FamousSmoke.com and I knew that I just had to try it. So I decided to get the five pack and I smoked four of those five but this one has been sitting in the humidor this whole time and i am ready to review it the iron horse maduro has dominican fillers and a dominican binder with an ecuadorian sumatra seed wrapper leaf this cap looks kind of wonky but i think it's just a you know, minor construction issue with this stick right here not all of them uh if you can look closely you can actually see some teeth in this cigar it's very toothy and that's telling me that there's going to be a lot of flavor coming out of this stick tonight i'll be pairing this stick with this glass of boujoulet to try and get the sweet notes out of that Maduro wrapper. Let's get into it. It's such a weird way to explain this flavor, but right at light up, I get a really strong, like a mesquite wood kind of flavor. I'm definitely getting a strong base of like a earthiness, and there is a lot of black pepper that's sitting in the back of my throat. The smoke output in this cigar is insane. This thing is smoking like a freaking chimney, dude. I want to get just a little bit further into the first third just to see how that flavor really develops. That is a fantastic pairing. I absolutely recommend it. I'm pretty well into the first third now, and I'm still getting that really nice earthy undertone. There's a smoky charred wood flavor that's coming out with a lot, a lot of spice. There's also a really subtle flavor of like a cocoa powder, but if you're looking for a spice bomb, I can't iterate it enough. This thing is a freaking spice bomb. I'm actually having a really hard time not getting this stick hot because it's got such a great flavor to it and mixing it with the red wine is the perfect combination of a sweet and spicy smoke. Let's see if that pepper and spice dies down at all in the second third. Here in the second third, the flavors have definitely shifted. I still have a fair amount of that woodsy, earthy base. I'm definitely still getting that cocoa powder, but the spicy pepper is definitely gone from this stick. And instead I'm actually getting kind of like a fruit flavor from it. At first I thought that I was getting that flavor from the wine, but I put the glass down and I've just been drawing off the cigar for a little while. It's definitely coming from the cigar. The smoke output, is absolutely insane on this stick and the construction honestly is pretty unbeatable i'm having no issues with the draw i'm having no issues with the burn the flavor is great it's staying pretty consistent but the subtle changes are making this a very complex stick and i'm definitely enjoying it this cigar is smoking like a medium to full bodied and it's definitely got the strength behind it i still think that you could get away with maybe having this cigar with a cup of coffee although i'm having this cigar with some red wine i think that it would also go really well with a whiskey or a bourbon I have a pretty good feeling that this stick is going to get a high rating, even though it is a budget stick. I'll give you that rating and my final thoughts in the final third. Here in the final third, it seems like the flavor has shifted yet again. However, the flavor is not unfamiliar. It's just exactly what I was getting in the very beginning. It seems like the cocoa powder has kind of left this stick but the pepper has come right back. And the charred wood and earthiness is very pronounced. For a budget smoke, you might be expecting my rating to be in the 80s, maybe the mid or high 80s. No, I gave this stick a 93 rating. The construction was absolutely unbeatable. The flavor, fantastic. Even though there is a lot of spice, I tend to like a lot of spice in my cigars. This stick was loose enough to have an amazing draw. The only setback that I have is once I got into the final third, I had a little bit of a burn issue. But despite that one issue, the good definitely outweighs the bad, making this an absolutely box-worthy cigar. 
As of right now, if you jump on FamousSmoke.com, you can grab a box of 20 of these Toros for $72. And as an extra bonus, they'll throw in a five pack of the Connecticut's for only five bucks. Am I sponsored from Famous Smoke? No, I just want you to have an amazing deal and I want you to grab these because they really are fantastic and everyone should have them in their humidor. But my opinion only goes so far, so if you've had one of these sticks before, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you have anything else that you want me to try, let me know. Till then, cheers.